Welcome back everybody to episode 201 of Building Big Germ. How's everybody doing today? Last episode, of course, we did the world tour and uh, everybody seemed to really enjoy that. It was, uh, it's probably one of my most popular in this series right now. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But today we are back out here at the White Falls area. And I think we're going to be doing a little bit of work out here today, trying to finish up some things and trying to fix up some things because I've made the decision, uh, kind of, to stop using the terracotta add-on, the uh, add-on that adds all the different like tutor blocks and roof blocks and stuff like that. So, so I've been having to go through and fix up some of the stuff that was left behind or that was uh, the wrong blocks like that. Whoops like that up there, that roof. Uh, I've got most of it done already. Oh, also another thing I've changed is these were iron blocks, but I've changed the iron back to vanilla as well. So I think I think the barrels look better anyways. Looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I've also done some resource pack changes and we'll go into some more of them in a bit. But one thing I can show you is the grass. And I'm not exactly sure if I like the better grass side texture right now, but uh, I've changed up the top texture. Well, Eclipsion in my Discord made a grass texture and they just used the um, grass path texture with some edits to it and then grayscaled it and turned it into the grass. Uh, but I went even further. I did that and then I took the beta version two pack uh, like before the new textures were officially released, there was a different grass path texture for some reason. Uh, so I took that, added that as a variant with some edits, of course, and then I added four, four more variants. Uh, so there's a darker one, there's a lighter one, uh, and it looks pretty nice. I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. And then I also went into the beta version two pack and took out that grass and added it as a variant with some edits again, of course. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Hello, what you got? Nothing I want. And then I uh, was messing with the Optifine texture stuff and I noticed you could change the texture for the side here for like the better grass side. And I'm not sure if I like it or not yet. Uh, when I first made it, I didn't like it, but I'm starting to get used to it. So I imagine probably a lot of you won't like it at first, uh, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. I just haven't changed it yet. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see if we keep it or not. All right, we're in my creative test world now, and you can get a better, a better view of the grass now, all the different variations. I think it looks really, really good, but I wanted to show off some other textures I've been working on. Uh, well, for one, this is a very small one, but I made the cat, this cat, the black and white one, I made it, uh, made it a little more textured. It was very flat before. Uh, but in the last Optifine preview, there was a new feature added, and that is the ability to add baby custom textures for baby animals. Uh, so I've added this one. It's a, uh, obviously it's a baby chicken. And I think it looks really, really nice. And then I've added them for baby cows. Uh, just a little bit of a change. I uh, made the like size of the texture on them match like their head size uh, instead of the body just getting scaled down, if that makes any sense. And then same for the pigs as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, maybe maybe you can tell, maybe you can't. If you play, if you pay close attention to uh, textures in the game, uh, you could probably tell. But for most people, it's probably not a huge change. And then last things, uh, I've been working on. I don't know why I named that guy. I spawned him uh, with the uh, like no despawn tag. <laughs> um, but I've edited the textures for some of the stuff that Jabba didn't finish. So here is the Enderman. I think he looks pretty cool. I like him a lot. Uh, here's the Creeper. This is a pretty big change, uh, but I think it looks really, really cool. I based it off of actually one of the uh, one of the plushies that Minecraft sells. Like I think one of the official ones. There was one that had like 
some very pale green and pale yellow colors on it. And uh, I like the colors, so I tried to uh, try to make it look like that. And then the Endermite, uh, that didn't get a new texture uh, either. So I changed that as well. And then I'm probably going to do the Silverfish. Uh, I also changed the Bat Wings to uh, match the Bat Body texture. Because for some reason those didn't match. And then Shulker Boxes. I've redone all the Shulker Boxes to uh, have a new texture. Again, just some very, very small things, but uh, I like them overall. Also, for now, I still have the uh, iron bars dark until I figure out what I'm gonna do with those. I think this is a better texture than the vanilla, so I don't know, I may just leave it as that. So today, we are actually not gonna be working on much in here. I may do some stuff off camera in between clips, uh, but we are mainly gonna be coming outside here and something I want to do for the next uh, next few weeks, I want to go back to my old projects and finish them up. Okay, we got to fix that. Um, but I want to go back to old projects and try to finish as many of them up as I can. Um, because in the world tour, uh, I mentioned a lot. I mentioned a few times that that we have quite a few unfinished projects. And at first, well, I got a comment about it. And at first I didn't remember saying that much, uh, saying that there were that many projects. Um, but I started thinking about it more and I realized there are quite a bit. So the biggest one I feel like is this, this area right here, the what's supposed to be the underground village. So this is something I want to try to get worked out and finished up. Uh, well, not finished up. I want to get started on fairly soon because it's a really cool project idea, I feel like. What's in here? Anything good? Yeah, I feel like it's a really cool project, but but I just need to get it worked out and uh, need to work on it some. So I need to go get a beacon for one thing. I think I have one back at that big city way off that way. Uh, and then, then I'll need to carve out this cave quite a bit more, but we're not gonna be working on uh, working in here today anyways. I want to come outside here and I want to work on a little house, a little house right here uh, because I want to have a village. I think I mentioned this last episode. I want to have a village of this up top as well, uh, as well as like a cave city down below. So yeah, that's what we're going to be working on today. Some of this, some of these houses. And I want to kind of try to incorporate different things into them uh, so that they all, so they don't look all like the same exact house. So like we'll try to do like a blacksmith with one, maybe like a town hall with another one. Uh, I think these are technically going to be two separate villages. So we'll probably have two separate like town hall and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get to work on that now. I brought a bunch of materials. I do need some andesite. Um, we have a lot more blocks now than we did when we first built this, like a bunch of different stairs and slabs for all these. Uh, different stone types. So should be fairly interesting to work this out. So I'm going to go ahead, get some more materials together and I'll be back in just a second.
All right, there we go. Oh man, that looks so good. I really like that. I was a little afraid. Uh, I wasn't gonna be able to get the same feel that I got with this one, uh, but that looks good. I like that a lot. And that was super easy to build actually. So well, you saw in the replay, basically you just make a circle or a shape. It doesn't have to be an exact circle. You just make a shape out of cobblestone and then you just stack up about three blocks and then uh, just kind of place grass on top of it. Just make sure it's like rounded out kind of and looks kind of natural. Uh, so yeah, I think it looks super cool. I like that a lot. Uh, but now, ooh, that is really dark. Now I want to come in here and whoops, I want to... Uh, I want to try to work on an interior here, like a real interior, not not what I have in that place. So let's see. Let me empty out my inventory a little bit. Okay, so let's dig this all down. Oh, perfect. The roots went down. Okay, interesting. Uh, so we're going to dig this all down a block. And then, you know what? I should be harvesting these uh, ferns because I could really use them. I don't have many out here at all. But okay, so we're gonna take all of this down like a so. And then I wanna do a furnace here or a, a chimney here. So let's grab some bricks, ba boom, and get rid of that and give me that, boom, boom. And let's go like this, boom, boom. Stairs here, then we can break that out, break all this out. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Bricks there and bricks there. And then do we do that too? I think we do. Uh, and then we need to make a campfire. All right, and we're gonna put one right there and then one right there. And actually I need to grab some trapdoors. One, two, three and a four and then we'll close all those and hop back down yeah that looks good i like that so now i'm gonna go through and just kind of bring all this stuff down all the walls down so it looks uh smooth and it doesn't look like just dirt sticking out here and there all right there we go and then next i'm just gonna go through and sprinkle in some uh coarse dirt here and there just to uh, make it look, make the floor look a little bit rougher. And we are using, uh, we are gonna be doing a dirt floor. Uh, and you know what, we should get rid of this stuff as well. And then get rid of the podzol, boom. All right, there we go, that looks good. Now what did I do in the ceiling over here? I wonder if I even finished the ceiling here. I did not. Um, looks like I was gonna try to like round it up into it though the stone so let's try let's try that and you know what okay so we'll do that for this bottom layer and then for the rest we'll do the coarse dirt slabs i think that'll be a good idea all right there we go i think that looks pretty good if i were to make any changes i would maybe add some like roots uh going through the roof there but i don't think i'm going to uh, that would be too difficult to figure that out on bottom and make it look good on top still. So, yeah, we'll we'll forget about that for now. But now I want to kind of figure out how to do, like, some walls in this place. Because I don't want it to all be just wide open. So, let's start out. Let's go, like, right over here. Um, Maybe, uh, hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go right here. We'll put a pillar here. And we'll strip that, of course. Then we'll do planks here for the wall. Break that. Uh-huh. Maybe. Uh, maybe we'll bring this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Then we'll put a door, like, right there with a little thing up top, maybe. Stair like that. And then door like that. You know what, what if we do this? Bring this across like that. Just so that top part doesn't look weird. Crap, I didn't wanna do that. That still looks pretty weird. What about if I do something like that? That's getting better, I guess. Uh, and then we can do 
like full blocks of this there and then give me that. Nope, 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 there we go. That there. That doesn't look terrible, I guess. Uh, let's get rid of that and let's do that there. Uh, give me that, please. Boom, boom, boom. And then stare like that. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. I don't hate that. And then let's go ahead, let's pile up some barrels somewhere. This is actually a good spot right there. And let's make one more trap door. There we go, barrel, barrel. And I'm mainly doing that so I can place uh, some stuff in there. <laughs> Get some stuff out of my inventory. I also want to do one more window. Is there, no, there's not space there. Um, I think I saw one back here when I was running around outside. Yeah, right there, okay, good. And we can do something with this to make it look a little bit nicer. But we'll put a window right there, torch by that. And then can we fit another, oh, this can actually go back one, that's right. Uh, so we could do something there, maybe a little closet or something. And you know what, I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. Put that back. All right, there we go, that's looking good. So now let's make some furniture here. Um, and actually, before I do that, I just remember I wanna do a little thing right here. Just a little space there in front of the, uh, in front of the fire and let's get rid of that. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, that'll be good. Uh, but let's go like, hmm. Let's go like right here. We'll put a table, and we'll just use that for a table. And then we'll do some oak, oak stairs. Boom, boom. Yeah, a little table there, that looks good. And do I still have this recipe? I do, good, good, good. Let's do a little, little cup there, why not? Get rid of that. And then maybe we'll put like a little painting right there. That'll be good. And then, let's see, what else? Well, if we come in here, this is gonna be the bedroom. We do need to block off this still. So we'll block it off like right there, maybe? Yeah, that'll be good. And then we'll put the log going up right there. Boom, boom, boom. And strip all that. And there we go, that looks all right. Doesn't look too bad. And then what else, what else can we do? We could do, Another, oh yeah, we got we got enough. We can do another little table right there with a lantern on it. Maybe put like a pressure plate down there, look like a piece of paper or something. And I kind of want, I need something to fill up this space. I feel like my first thought is a rug, but that doesn't make much sense. Uh, you know what, we could try to mix in some, uh, no, not that actually, hang on a second. Let me go grab some dark oak. We could just mix in a little bit of this uh, like we did, where did we do this at? I don't even remember where we did this at. Uh, but, yeah, this this looks good. This little uh, mix of the dark oak and dirt. I think that looks good, that adds a little bit of interest. Makes it look like they maybe tried to put something down on the ground so it wasn't, uh, wasn't all dirty. And then what could we do right here? I'm kinda thinking, I'm kinda thinking bookshelves. Uh, so let me see if I can find some books around here. All right, so let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I need a lot more, <laughs> a lot more wood, obviously. And I think I saw a bunch of spruce over in those uh, chests, so I'm not too worried about running out of those. Uh, perfect, we'll go like that. And then we'll do trap doors uh, like that and that. And then here we'll do, maybe we do this, like that there, maybe, maybe. Uh, and then let's go ahead, how do you craft a smoker? I think I changed it in my pack since I changed, changed the uh, texture of it. Smoker, okay yeah, bricks around a furnace. So we need one, two. Wait, that's not what I need anyways. Oh well, that's okay. Uh, we'll put that there and I need to change the texture of that. I forgot about that. And we'll put a regular furnace right here. Boom. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and then we need to cook up some regular old stone. Boom. We only need one, right? 
for an armor stand? Armor stand. Yeah, okay. All right, and then we grab the stone cutter. Boom, boom, boom. And we go stone slab and sticks like that. An armor stand, not there. We'll do it over here since we don't have anything on this side yet. We'll do, you know what, right there, that'll be a bunch of storage piled up, I guess. So we'll do the armor stand right here as you walk in. Or, or is here better? Let's see, walk in, armor stand right there. That's better. Okay, and then I'll stick some chest on top of that and stuff, uh, so it doesn't all look like the same thing. Boom, boom. So we go chest there, chest there, and that's good enough. I'm okay with that. Let's take this one down so it's not right in our face when we walk in. And then we'll do, you know what? I think that might be it. I think that might be good enough. I'm okay with this. I do want to do like a little workstation thing actually before we stop this or before we finish this. So let's go, let's break this. We're going to move this. We'll move it to like right there. Not a big difference, but just out of the way a little bit for this spot. So we're going to do stone, a stone table. So let's grab the stone cutter and we'll put that right there because this is going to be it sitting on top of it. One, two, then we do one, two, uh, and we go boom, boom, boom. No, too far over that way. So we're going to have to move this entirely. Uh, I don't know what we'll do with that, but we'll figure it out. So we'll put stair there, stair there, give me that, and then stair there. Whoops, not that. There we go. That looks like something. And maybe we'll put like a slab on the ground here. Maybe we'll put a cup right there. And then maybe we put the chair there. So they eat from here and they work from here. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll move this over one. You know what, actually, 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 let's do, uh, I have to cook up another stone. But I'm thinking, what if we do like a little pile of these back there? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then maybe, Maybe we stick a chest right there, not a barrel. We'll do a regular chest. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. I like it. I like how that turned out. Uh, and then we'll do a lantern hanging from one of these spots. I just wanted to place that to see uh, to see if it was placeable there. So we'll do hanging down like that, not that. Like that, lantern there. Good. And do I have more lanterns out here? I don't, but I have plenty of lanterns back at the uh, the other place, so so I can get that sorted out later on. Okay, I think I think up here we could do like that. Whoops, not that. Do that. Ah, not that. That. <laughs> and then maybe some stairs. Uh, crafting table. Maybe some stairs like this, and then a slab. Let's grab a slab. Boom. More than one, but that's okay. We'll do, do we do stairs like this or like that? Let's do it like that. Yeah, like that is good. And then we'll put like a pot up there maybe. Let's see, what can we make? We can make a pot. We can make another armor stand maybe. Yeah, that's good. Let's get rid of that. Let's do a little bed frame thing. Uh, and actually, let's go ahead and fill that back up because I don't think we will be using that space. Uh, you know what? Okay, I do have space there. Let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Like a little bed frame thing. And then a stair there. Maybe. I don't know. That's kind of kind of cool looking. Uh, maybe we sit this up one. Like that. Boom. Uh, you're, that's pretty close to that ceiling there. What if, okay, what if we do that? Put that back, put that there, and then this there, and up like that, boom. Maybe that like, 
like that and we'll stick like that there yeah that doesn't look too bad i don't i don't hate that i almost said i don't like that <laughs> uh, but i do like that it's good um and then we'll do another little table right there maybe like this like an oak oak table again boom boom and then uh what could we do here maybe just like a barrel okay good it's not one of the variations um maybe not a barrel there maybe like there here and then a chest on top of that yeah i think that's good and let's put this like there like it's a little candle or something i think that's pretty good i like it uh we can fix this real quick though by going boom 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 okay that's good anything else i need to fix i don't think so i think we're good i think we are good here yeah i like this i think this turned out really good i like it a lot let's go ahead and put some of this stuff in here so we don't have a full inventory but yeah i think this turned out pretty cool ah we need to sleep this is not gonna set our spawn so we need to make sure not to die but i'll never die i'm too good at this game um but let's go outside and take a look at this yeah i think it turned out pretty good i like it a lot so we're gonna be adding a lot more of these houses in this area i'll probably do a bunch off camera i think i'll do another one around this tree right here and then probably some more just like leading up to this pit here and then off camera i'll also uh dig out this area some more get out of here skeleton get out of here but yeah i think that's actually gonna do it for this episode uh so yeah i think that's gonna do it hopefully you all enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like uh let's do we have any fences we don't let's pick these up i want to do a little fence right there and then we'll hang a lantern from that and i'm also thinking about doing like fences hanging from the trees with the lanterns hanging from them i think that could be a pretty cool look uh but you know what let's go ahead and check this out in the shaders too real quick before we end off the episode all right, there we go. Got a lantern, and there it is with the shaders. Looking pretty nice. Uh, it's not making that big of a difference because it's all under <laughs> under the uh, the tree canopy, but looks pretty cool still. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Whoa, whoa, this is extremely dark. I don't think... Oh, yeah, it does give off light. That's weird. I feel like that's not even shining on the floor there. Oh, jeez, I can't see. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Let me know if you have any suggestions for this area. Uh, and uh, name suggestions. I need a name for this little little village here. Uh, I know it's kind of part of the uh, White Falls area, but it's going to be its own little, little kingdom, I think. So yeah, I need a name. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you.